Hi, it's Tom from Goliath Solar Electrical. Uh, here today we're going to talk you through how to turn off your solar edge storage inverter, um, which is compatible with an LG Chem battery. Um, you might find these inverters can look a bit different than other solar edge inverters. So first things first, um, there is a green button. If you press that, it will show you the display screen. Um, so the first part of the process for shutting down, whether it's the battery or the inverter, is always to shut down the inverter before the battery and the reverse order for restarting, which is actually printed on the sticker of your inverter. So the shutdown procedure, first step, is just to turn the red toggle switch from the on position to off. Uh, the off is the zero. Um, now, the inverter is very smart in telling yourself on the display screen, basically not to, uh, you know, not to turn anything off just yet. That's the first part of the step. Um, it can take about, you know, a minute to three minutes. Uh, the inverter will de-energize and get the uh, DC to a safe level, which is the optimizers on the roof. Again, it's coming down. Um, basically, we're trying to get it down uh, the voltage to the same amount of panels. So if you've got 18 panels on the roof, it will need to get down to 18 volts per panel um, or 20 panels down to 20. You'll find if the screen goes blank, you can press the green button again. Um, now, as that counts down, just so you know, we do need to follow the same process if you've got multiple inverters. So we can start that one there as well. Um, now, as you can see, it's slowly counting down. And then, yeah, once we get down to this inverter, it's gone off that screen. Uh, it's now allowing you to say it's at the safe DC voltage. So the next step, uh, on that is the AC isolator. Now you'll find that if your meter box was installed here or within three meters of the inverter, um, you may not have this AC isolator switch. You'll have a switch in your meter box or switchboard labeled AC uh, inverter supply. So we're just gonna turn that off. Uh, as you see, once that off, the inverter has lost its power. So the next step here as step two is to isolate the DC isolator. Now that, of course, is this one, and we're just gonna switch it anti-clockwise. And now you'll notice that is in the off position. Uh, can, if you've got a second inverter, we can go back to that one, which is now saying it's safe enough to turn off. So we'll turn that off, the AC grid supply and the DC isolator. Um, the next step now is that we can turn the battery off. Uh, to do that, uh, as you'll see with Eclipse, if you try to do it, they have a safety lock. The safety lock is underneath. You push it up with your thumb, allowing you to release the clip. So again, if you try to do the clip, it won't work. There's a little safety pin at the bottom. Push up to undo. Uh, sometimes this door can come off, but we'll show the two switches there. Um, it's all in one, and we just put it into the down position, and that is how you turn your inverters and battery off. Um, now, the, to turn everything back on, it is the reverse procedure. We always do say, give it a couple minutes um, before attempting that again. 